Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about V-Shred, everybody's favorite punching bag in the YouTube fitness world right now, V-Shred. He put out a video today about fat loss, and I want to talk about a couple things that he mentioned. Specifically, he mentioned don't cut calories, and then he contradicted himself. I want to talk about that in this video because it's important for those of you that are watching this buffoon and the people behind this buffoon and the information that he is disseminating. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. All right. V Shred, I'm not going to link the video because you're adults and you know how to search YouTube, but he's got three things or three tips or whatever that you're doing wrong with fat loss or how to accelerate fat loss or whatever the crap is. At least he didn't blatantly plagiarize the material, so I'll give him credit for that. But outside of that, his information is utter crap. Uh, before I talk about the information and the not cutting calories part, it should be noted that if you're listening to his videos really closely with a really sharp ear, you can pick up a lot of bullshit in his videos. For example, he mentions right out of the gate that over the years, he's trained thousands of people, thousands of people, thousands, thousands. Okay, I'm going to do a little math for you. V-Shred, Mr. Vince, whatever his name is, is about 24 years old. Let's say when he says thousands, he doesn't mean eight or seven. Maybe he only means a little paltry 3,000. Let's see, 3,000, let's carry the one and do a few divisions and all that kind of complicated math stuff that Vince is not doing when he's spotting his bullshit. 3,000, let's say he started training when he was 18. 3,000 divided by six years because he's 24 would equal 500 people, 500 people a year. Now, let's make sure we understand that he was talking about people he consulted with diet-wise. Diet-wise, this doesn't necessarily mean that he was training them. Like people, people, this doesn't necessarily address the people that didn't really need to lose fat. This was just the, the fat loss people. So 500 people a year. Wow, that's a hefty, hefty amount of personal training. I commend you, sir, but quite frankly, if you're training that many people a year, I don't know how in the hell, why in the heck you would stop doing that and stop, start making really bad YouTube videos. And beyond that, if you're training 500 people a year, giving them the crap advice you're giving them, you pro well, yeah, you're probably giving them back, a lot of them back, a huge refund because you're a knucklehead, and that's probably why you had to make the transition to YouTube. Anyway, back to the point. Back to the point. All right. Mr. V Shred mentions his first tip or first whatever bullshit thing he's mentioning is that you don't have to cut calories. You don't have to cut calories. You don't have to cut calories. And then he, he, he cites some uh, study from uh, Cambria or whatever, <laughs> Cambridge University, sorry. He cites some study that was done on mites. And it's just, it's just a bullshit study. You can, you can research it on your own. But um, he, he talks about, in one breath, you don't have to cut calories to lose fat. And then and then he comes back like a minute later and says, don't cut calories more than 25 to 30 percent. I'm thinking, okay, if I need 3,000 calories to maintain, he doesn't want me to go under 22, he doesn't want me to go under 2,000 to 2,200 to lose fat. If I'm eating 4,000 calories a day, it's like, that's a huge jump. That's a huge jump no matter how you slice it. That's a huge transition. <laughs> He, on one hand, he's telling you not to cut calories, and then he's not telling you. And then he's telling you in the next in the next breath that comes out of his mouth, not to cut more than twenty five percent. Twenty five percent is a huge jump. If you are trying to lose fat, if you are trying to lose weight, you want to slowly back off until you're losing about two pounds a week. That's a reasonable amount of weight loss. And uh, in one breath to say don't cut calories, and then the other breath to say don't cut calories more than 25 to 30 percent. I don't think he knows what the heck he's talking about. Anybody that trains folks for a living or anybody that has any experience training folks knows that you need to dial back the calories slowly and you need to kind of adjust to eating habits. In the real world, that's how it's done. So I really don't know what the heck he's talking about. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. He's just reading some bullcrap script. You can watch a video yourself 
again, don't cut calories, and then a minute later, don't cut calories more than 25 to 30%. Which is it, Vince? Which is it, V-Shred? I'm so confused. Maybe you ought to ask the mice or the professors studying the mice. Or maybe you ought to just tear up the strip, tear up the script, and go back to the successful personal training service you apparently are running. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.